We are on the streets for Felony Friday, and apparently there was an update to Cyber Mastery that allows me to do this. Oh yes indeed, we are one step closer to having all of those wonderful functionalities of ELS in GTA 5. I decided to skip that junction there because it was technically green, uh, but that was a major dick move on my part. But we are the police, we are allowed to be dicks, that's what we paid to do. So we'll stay on the streets here, we'll try and find some crime. I think today I will deal with some focusing, at least, on prostitutes. So that is to say that we won't really be dealing with them at all, certainly not here during the daytime, but at the night time I will try and focus on them. Uh, but knowing this, it usually won't ever happen. We are about to roll up onto a petrol theft call from this station over here. We'll go ahead and we'll turn off to the lorry. Uh, the owner reported a theft from the station, so we'll investigate that as soon as we park up around here. So this guy here should be the owner of the petrol station. We'll go ahead and have a bit of a chat here. Hello, officer. My petrol station. You've been having a lot of thefts. I caught this one on CCTV. Let's have a look. See? Yeah, there they are. Definitely right there. They are very suspicious. I can definitely see them. No, I can't. Not at all. There was nobody on the CCTV. You clearly got this wrong. A graphite coloured adder. Well, okay. So, 83 Oscar Charlie Whiskey 458. So, it's the same one as we had before. And they took off in the direction of the airport. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll make my way into the area. So, all right, we'll get back to you. So, we are on the lookout for perhaps the most easily recognisable car in the game, that being the Adder, the Bugatti Veyron kind of inspired vehicle. Uh, it is now being flagged up as being... Oh, you are not on, mate. Right, now I've got to figure out how we get down onto the little aqueduct area over here. This road here leads there, if I recall correctly. So, we'll actually plop down a marker over here. And I'll go on the bell to the area just to locate them. They should be driving in the actual uh, sewage area. I don't know how they got down there. Uh, we don't have ANPR cameras down there. Well, apparently we do since it's been pinged up. We are then heading over here. Oh, that was tight. You see that? That was, you know, like a cat's hair away. Over here is. Down across. Up here. Yeah, I don't care about the little yellow line. i am just got to get down onto the waterfront. So we're turning here, we'll just use a nice little sidewalk. And then if I'm right, we have access to the water site. Am I right? Oh, I don't think I am. I don't know how to get down to that position though. Although, am I? I don't know, definitely looks like they might... I don't... Right. Sod this then, I'll try and make my way into that area just to get it covered up. Actually, sod that. I've just found a way down there, so now let's just try and commit ourselves. So, yep, I bent it there. Whoopsies. So, let's make our way over, take the little slip road down. Oh, I've gone fucked myself in the bomb face. Well, we've got to do a bit of a handy breaky there, and then we just try and then just follow the little yellow road down there. Not road, but line. Yeah, don't block the intersection. There's no chance of me doing that here. Right, now we get a chance out here. No, they're stuck, so we're definitely taking a down trip down here. I'm pretty sure these people are very confused about what the hell is going on here. Uh, but I can tell you that this is quite realistic, at least for ambulances, because I've seen the local ambulance quite a few times actually go the opposite way within, you know, the space of a couple of minutes. Like, I've literally heard them go down one way, wailing away, and then they came the other way while still being in earshot at the whole time. So sometimes you just get that wrong. Okay, we'll go on a siren turn here. So we'll nip over here. Yeah, NPR, look, where are they? Are they on the surface street? Nope, exactly the same position. So we'll then draw nipsies over here. We can't go down there because that's gravel. But where's... Oh, shit, I went too far. Now it's flashing with the train, but the... Uh, little, okay, do they not go down? This is a serious safety defect. The uh, little bridge thingies there won't go down. Right, we can go off the noise in case they come towards us. So we'll go on this little slip road here. And they're out walking their dogs and they just have the Rosses fly past at 70,000 miles an hour. And i got to be careful because I don't want to damage the patrol vehicle too much. We'll try and stick to this little pathway up here just so we don't get near the water. But that is very tight actually. Yeah, we may just transition to a lower position down here just to have a bit more leeway. Oh, we've gotten ourselves in a bit of a pickle here because the adder is located there. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm... 
out them there, but they obviously stuffed it because they can't handle such a fast car. I mean, if you can afford a car like that, surely you would be able to afford petrol for it. Now, this is unrealistic. I'm sorry if I ruined your immersion, but I just had to do that, you know. So we'll nip over here and we'll try. Somehow, we'll just pull in behind an initiate traffic stop because nothing is suspicious about this. So traffic stop initiated here, and we've signaled them to stop, and they've come to stop, not surprisingly, and we'll go ahead and we'll have a bit of a chat here. Close the door behind us, because we're not uncivilised. And let's see here. Hello, sir, you've got your papers on you, please. Okay, have you had anything to drink today? I want my lawyer, not reasonably, no. So you want your lawyer when it comes to alcohol, so Joshua Graham here. But let's go ahead then and give you a blow in my chew, please. Now, he's had a bit to drink, but it's not above the limit. Uh, but the drug boys will just get a positive or negative here, and negative all round. We'll go ahead and we'll run him on our computer, and we will find out his details. So, Joshua's license is expired, as is the insurance on the vehicle, and he is wanted in the connection with the petrol theft, even though it wasn't caught in camera, but we'll go ahead and we'll nick him for that offence as well. So, we'll go ahead and ask him to exit the vehicle. Alright, so do you want to turn around and put your hands behind your head? Are you going to cause trouble as well? Right, stopping. Yeah, and now we hold it down to cuff you up, so you have the right to remain silent. Anything is okay, and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed towards you at no cost. Oopsies, so let's grab you. Now we can put you in the back of my car. The sun is setting, which means that it's nearly prossy bangy arresty time. Not bangy time, as in, you know, banging them, but, you know, banging them up. In prison is what we're going to do. So the car was automatically repaired when we dropped off the suspect. So we will go ahead and return in the area and we'll try and locate any prostitutes that may or may not be out by this time. Oh, that taxi was a bit swervy where we weren't there. They nearly crashed into the side of us. Let's go ahead and pull them over if we get a chance. That's just a free cop car sitting there, by the way, in case you should want. I mean, he's also tailgating. Look at that. Yeah, let's go ahead and mark him up for a stop here. Okay, they're actually failing to stop for us, so we are now actually pursuing the little taxi in front of us here. He's running at what kind of speeds? At 50 miles an hour in the airport. I don't think we can call in an air unit right now, just due to the fact that we are in the airport area and there would be some sort of, you know, flight path issues. Uh, mainly the fact that large commercial airliners will crash into our police helicopters and we don't want that to happen. That is bad for everyone involved. So we'll have to make do with just ourselves out here. Although those coppers may want to, you know, join in. Okay, now you're just doing a UE. Fine, you're just going to go against traffic. Don't be bothered with our pursuit here. Uh, so we just, are we just going to do laps here? I mean, it's not the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, is it? You could do a couple of changes up in your little path here. I mean, there are changes to be made. Corners to be taken, also right hand cornering. So, what are you doing here? Yep, nope, still going. We're going at fair rate of speed, and the coppers are still going towards traffic here. Let's request a local unit just to join in here with a bit of, yeah, you know, a bit of social activity. There they go. And they blocked them off out the front. And the suspect is now kind of boxed in. So, they're now trying to do some stuff up there. I'm not in touch. Oh, they're going for a pit maneuver. What tactics are we on? We were on safe. That didn't look safe, mate. Did it? Do you think that's safe at all? Right, we have two coppers out here on foot and they were very, very nearly ran over by the suspect vehicle. I'm going for a pit if I can get it in here. I can't because the vehicles are just up ahead here and oh Christ, that taxi there was not yielding and they swerved all over again. We didn't do any lasting damage to our patrol vehicle. Well, certainly none that sort of had limited its functions. But we'll try now and stay again out here. Oh, Christ, that was a bit close, wasn't it? Hopefully we'll be able to get a decent pit manoeuvre going at some point here. I mean, you could pit them pretty far out to our right-hand side. That is kind of what I want to try and do here. But they left another patrol vehicle there, and we should have an... Holy fucking Christ, what do you hit? Right, can I swing in front of you here? No, I can't, because you're already moving again. So we need to build up a bit of speed here, and now we can go for a pit. See, there we go. Round tees and down tees and... Why the fuck will you hit me, you dumb cunts? Right, well, we're continuing in the pursuit. Right, we got several patrol vehicles in the actual area over here, but only one in the pursuit. We were ran by one that seemingly wasn't in the pursuit, and what's going with that light? It's fucking Christ! Yeah, he's a danger to himself and others. That guy yielded for us, very kindly of him. But we are still just lapping around here. Let's request all of the local units we can get a hold of, and then a couple of state units as well, just to get the party started. It's Friday, after all, we can do with some partying. There we go, a couple of cars joining in. 
Oh, they came out of them head on there. Yep, yep. Nice maneuver. Nice maneuver. Nice maneuver. You are a state officer. You are clearly competent at that. Okay, you're now reversing and you're now stopping there. And now you're on foot. So he's bailing. Decamp. Decamp. On foot running in this direction over here. So can I just nip over here and block him off? Oh, yeah, he ran right into my car. I can't open my door now, can I? So, okay, let's reverse back here and get out, and she has him in custody. Oh, I need to turn off the siren, don't I? Yeah, I'm not going to learn that for a while, so sorry about that. We'll provide some lethal coverage out here, although they are in custody. So we'll go ahead and we will... But we need to return to the station because we've got a bit of a dent cop car here. Well, as it turns out, I didn't have to go that far at all. There's one just left by the side of the road here, and it seems to have all functioning mode as soon as we turn on the engine here. So let's see here, yeah, we got rear lights, we got front lights, we got top lights. Yeah, we are smashing, we are good to go here. That's fantastic. Free patrol vehicle, we can stay on the beat. A hot pursuit of a tanker, yeah, thank you, please. Where are you? You are just back there. Are we on our, oh no, but we can actually just nip down there. That copper there parked in his badly damaged patrol vehicle, he got out. And now he's just standing about. So we'll go ahead and we'll try and catch up with the hot tanker. I don't think it's a tank, as in, you know, a military tank. It's just a uh, tanker truck, like a tanker at the back. But we'll see when we catch up with the pursuit down here. And I was right, it is a tanker. Well, it certainly is a lorry out here, an articulated lorry. And it just forced its way through the coppers out here. So we are pursuing this vehicle. A good old 18-wheeler American tractor trailer, as you call them. Which is very weird because we all know that a tractor is, you know, the kind of stuff farmers use. And not one of these things, but I'll digress for now. We are on Greenwich Parkway and we are coming up onto a road up here. We are running at approximately 50 miles an hour. That's pretty decent for these beats, isn't it? Or for these vehicles. 50 miles an hour is pretty decent for 50 miles an hour. Uh, but we're continuing on to surface streets here. We have a couple of cars following in behind. We should also have a helicopter that's bringing it back up here. Although we are now at the airport again and we are going against traffic, so he may have an issue or two here. What's he going to do? We've come to a stop, but you know, I'm barely even fancying my chances here in a car. So I'm not entirely sure I want to get out on foot and try and chase him down. But we can pull up alongside and have a look and see what kind of person is driving. See here, I mean, they've brought themselves in here. Let's bring it over. Where's the spotlight going? Spotlight, oh, there it is. It's at the front of the vehicle, so bring it over here and bring it up. So it's a man. Okay, it's on foot now. Let's go ahead here and give chase to the driver. He is the one we are looking for. Where did he go? Shit, where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Where, where is he? Where is he? Shit, there he is. He was hit by a car. It's on the ground, bitch. So I don't know who was handling the call initially, but we are not going to make any arrests here. Uh, we got one chap there doing the arrest, and we can go ahead then and try and catch up with the other fleeing chap. So you got him cuffed there. Another police car just left abandoned by the side of the road. Are they running on foot or what is the deal here? They're running into the back of the IAA building. Now that is a stupid idea, isn't it? Let's see out here. Yeah, he is in custody as well. So we'll go ahead. We will cancel this noise. And we can probably return on patrol as soon as they have been cuffed up. Uh, and now we have a traffic stop requiring backup at La Puerta. We'll go ahead and we'll nip that one because he's not really doing much for us. So we'll switch on our blues and twos and head our way over to the traffic stop, which is over there somewhere. I just gesticulated at my screen for no good reason. Continuing down here then, we'll jump to the actual scene of the thing, of the action. Hey, how's it going? The driver cut somebody up back there. The driving was pretty erratic and anti-social. I'm going to slap them a ticket hang around for a moment, please. I can do that. Let's just make sure that we have our pistol ready. We don't want to be there with a taser in case he gets out with a gun. Of course, that's the second adder we've dealt with today. We shouldn't get that many adders at all. Okay, they've now made off from us. That's going to be unpleasant for us. Thankfully, we're in the uh, rapid patrol vehicle, so we'll go on the bell. We'll try and catch up, and I will, as soon as I can here, nip onto the radio and get a heli welly going for us, because he's going to be running a bit quicker than we normally would expect. Although we seem to be holding up well here. So we'll continue here onto the interstate, nipping out here. Let's try and get a speed reading going immediately because I have a feeling that we are going to be breaking the limit pretty quickly. He's not as quick as I'd have hoped. I mean, I'm doing 95 and I'm keeping up with him. I don't want to get any closer because I might have to come to a stop at some point. And we have the other officer. He's also keeping up with us, which is a nice change of pace. Jesus fucking Christ on the... Okay, yeah, he was dangerous. 
Uh, but they're now getting blocked in here by a lorry. We'll request air unit out here. We'll request a state patrol car as well, or any unit really from the state. Uh, we now have vehicles doing UEs in front of us. Always absolutely petrifying to see that. We haven't had a state unit join in. I think they're on a on-ramp somewhere. And now they nipped up onto the inside lane here, so we have them boxed in. If I nip round, we can perhaps go for a T-pack. See here? Okay, nope. Now you just went around me. Helicopter's above, though. And he's not going for an overtake on me. But he's going up the inside of that lorry. Yeah, we're going to have to just preempt that. Oh, this is not a good situation. Yeah, that could have been deadly. But we made it through. Speed reading is still going. We'll just leave that one for now because now we're actually getting pretty rapid here. We are still behind the vehicle. Have we outgunned the helicopter? No, we haven't. It's still up there somewhere. We'll request another state unit. That's why they never joined in. Uh, maybe they are coming towards us. Yes, they are. And they're in a patrol vehicle for warns. Like that. Yep. There we go. Yep. I mean, that's not... Okay, yeah. You just let him through. And you're going off. For some reason, you're going off. I would imagine you'd stay on. Surely you'd have bigger an advantage on the interstate than you would down here. But we will go ahead and we'll leave that for now. We'll end the reading. Uh, which was just a wee bit over there. So we come up here to a sign. Which says no speed limit. But we can see another sign down here. Hopefully with the speed limit going. We'll start a reading here. I think it's like 25 miles an hour on this road or something. Because it's you know like a squiggly wiggly road. But we will see that at some point. We're certainly going quicker than 25 miles an hour. Regardless we don't need to know what the limit is now. We only need to know that when we actually need to prosecute him for it. We're coming up here squiggly wiggly. Now, you'd imagine they would have a road sign out here with a speed limit. I mean, even if it's 50, we are just a little bit above that. And we've been going at these speeds pretty much the whole bloody way over here. Uh, so, we're now circling back into... Circling? Circling? Circling back into town. One of those things were correct. On Sustanical Road. And we're now coming up here to the city. So, we'll go out and we'll end the reading here. 82 miles an hour. It got a silver rating as far as I could see, and now we are on Surface Street, which is uh, 30 miles an hour, so we'll stay on a new reading here. Oh, we have the two state units with us now, and look at the speed we're going up with here. I mean, they're going to have no chance with this one. We just nipped up here, and we just gained up, and then there's a bus that's slowing everyone down up ahead. And you just tried to hit me there, didn't you? We don't want to try and hear that. Maybe it's stolen or something. We don't want to damage it. It's very expensive. Although you can't really afford to think like that in real life, can you? Okay, that Peterbilt was very quick to see that thing. But we're continuing here at 50 miles an hour on a surface street where the limit is 30. Blowing through a red light, not, not even... Oh, I lost audio. Uh, I've lost audio now. 